Hi everyone, um, this is just uh, following on from the video I've done about the Moog Rogue showing you a bit about um, what the, the setup of the synth and um, its features. I just thought I'd play some sounds. I'm going to use my Korg SQ1 uh, sequencer. Um, it's either, uh, if you haven't got one of these in your studio, it might be, you know, consider getting one because it's really useful. It's a either a one 16 step sequencer or it's two uh, eight steps with two sets of CV and gate outs um, and it's got a USB MIDI in so you can use it as a uh, MIDI CV uh, converter which is really handy so I'll be using that and everything I record is while we're talking about all interfaces everything I record is going to be going through my new I don't know if you can see that this is uh, my new uh, M4 Mo2 interface. Um, I'm going into a Windows laptop using DP Lite. My main rig is uh, an old Mac Pro built on um, uh, digital digital performer using uh, 2408s uh, as interfaces. But that's just I just wanted something I could just quickly plug in and use. Um, so I've got the M4 going into DP Lite. So I'm using that. It sounds sounds nice so far. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to plug in. Um, if you watch the other videos, you probably saw um, my explanation about the CV and gate on the back being um, being on their own. Um, let's have a look, their own sort of uh, the CV and gate are on stereo jacks, which I've had to solder up myself. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to plug the gate in for now because I just want to show you. I've got a little bass drum sound set up. Bear with me a second. I'm just reaching around the back. Um, so we're just going into the gate and we'll go to the gate of this let's turn this on first and the gate so um and let's turn our thing on so let's, let's see how it's sounding okay okay let's add a bit more decay to that filter sweep there just going to add a bit of an uh, extra envelope to the to the uh, filter bear in mind this slide is a bit crackly let's take that decay down a bit and I've got a really nice thwack there oh nice okay that sounds all right um yeah okay so uh, that's that uh, I'm gonna plug in a couple of other setups and I'll just um, yeah we'll just run for a few for a few few things okay so in addition to the gate I'm just gonna plug my CV in as well it's got the same sequence running but we're obviously gonna be influencing um, adding a CV to it just to change the pitch Um, so what we'll do is we'll just make sure everything's off. Just uh, I'm just going to take this self oscillation down, bring the filter up, and then just come over to our mixer section and just add a bit of. We've got sawtooth running on oscillator one, oscillator two. Let's bring this in. cheesy but you get the idea add a bit of noise it's going to take the envelope generator amount down a bit Just show you the filter track, we're just going to take that down. 
Okay, nice. Okay, so we've got um, one more uh, little sequence using the sequencer. Um, I'm only using just using the active step on the SQ1, so I'm using just four notes. It's going to be just um, just a quarter note uh, with well, four semiquavers to a quarter note. So trying to get that sort of little disco, 70s disco thing going on. And let's see how we go. So currently we're tuned at fifths, maybe we'll go up to an octave. Okay, so one more demonstration. I've got the oscillators turned down. Um, I've just taken a lead from my little Volker keys here, plugged it into the input at the back, and I'm using the SQ1 gate to trigger the um, the envelope and the filter. So um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so you can hear that coming through now.